Hello everybody, my name is Lauren Wilson and in this video I'm going to be critiquing an old painting of mine. I have a similar video to this one as well in which I critique the first digital painting that I had ever created and I will link that in the description below if you would like to take a look at that. I will be honest, the audio on it is a little bit awkward and it's just all of it. It's just a little bit awkward and I'm still trying to figure out how exactly I want these videos to end up and it shows. So just, you could just mute it and that'll be fine. It'll be great. <laughs> but getting into this one, I am going to be going over the parts about this painting that I well, one, I'll start off with what I like about it, and then I will also talk about what I don't like about it and what needs to be fixed. So to start off, I like the idea of the painting. I like the idea of the castle-ness amongst the waterfall and stuff. I really like that idea. I didn't really have a great execution on it, as you can see. Um, but I do like that. I like the colors of it. I like the, it's very cutesy and yeah, it's, it's cute. It's nice. Um, so let's get started with what I don't like about it, or I'll tell you more of what just needs to be fixed about it. So right off, it's very flat. There isn't that much dimension to it, and most of that has to do with just, well, everything. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going against this. It, it's, uh, uh, and I know my other one, my other video, I said that that was my first digital painting that I had created, and you would think that was the more process and the more things that you'd make, the better your paintings would get. That's not always the case. Uh... It's not that bad. It, it's kind of bad. It's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. So it's very walled off and there's not a lot happening back here to suggest other things going on. Um, so it, it just doesn't, it's just not as interesting looking to it. And it's very stiff and that also makes it look very flat, especially having these pillar type things to demonstrate rock formations that don't really go into anything. It's just like, I had no idea what I was doing. That's pretty much what all this is. This is just me going like, I think rocks are supposed to go here. How do rocks form? Well, rocks are built on top of each other. And they should be in pillar forms because waterfalls in pillar forms. Mm hmm It's great. But these rock pillars, because they're also, because there's so much the same shape going on. And this was another issue in my last painting that I critiqued in which it became very repetitive. And you can see it's still the same issue because I didn't have an idea of what I was doing. And did I look at a reference to figure it out what I should do? Oh no. Oh no. I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew it the whole time. Uh, a reference could tell Lauren nothing. I do like the texture that I have in the water. And I like how I actually brought in some different colors as well. Let's pick again. Which is cool. I didn't just make it like black and white or like grayscale it out. So I did add in some different colors and that does help with the dimensions of the water itself. It makes it look more realistic. Um, but the thing about the water is that in, in real life, if this was an actual thing, <laughs> These buildings would be obliterated. <laughs> they would, oh, they would be gone. So I like the water colors. I just don't like 
the way that I put the water in there, especially with this whole thing going on here. It's very stiff and awkward looking and it, it looks very forced. Like it doesn't look natural. It looks like somebody just came in and just like scooped out some of the ground and then like the water fell down into it. I like what I was kind of going for here with these different layers and stuff. Again, execution wasn't the best. Um, it looks, I feel like here I was trying to get more of a realistic look to it and even kind of in here a little bit more of a realistic, to, more of a realistic look to it. And the water kind of does have that as well, but the highlights on it are a little bit phony looking to me and I don't really like it and a little bit too much. It does make it look shiny, which is also what I was kind of going for. I do like this area right here. That's pretty nice. It has a nice bubble effect and it looks like the water goes down deeper into it. Another thing that also is makes it look more cartoonish is definitely the rocks that I have and the grass. <laughs> the grass, uh, so like little spindly pieces. I did do it in like small little areas so it's not like all the grass itself but it's still a little bit it's just too much unnecessary detail which is pretty much what all of this is and that's another reason why it looks flat is because there's a whole bunch of unnecessary detail in which I'm detailing this out way too much like all of this here could just be suggested and it will look so much better and then your focus instead of looking at all of this stuff over here would go straight into this which is more of like where I was going for another thing I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to put the focal point right in the center of the picture I, I should know this that you don't put the focal point right in the middle of the picture you should put it like higher, like somewhere over in here, more likely. Or if you do put it in the center, like have some other interest or different weight to the picture to give it a little bit more of something to make it not look so flat and boring looking to draw your interest into it more. But I just have it smack dab right there in the center instead of putting it elsewhere and then like everything else is pretty much just the same on either side so there's not a lot of interest going on with that either and it just makes it look flat as well and this here isn't realistic either I feel like I understood that this amount of water falling down would really just take out all the buildings like they would just be gone and I was like no no that's not what happens <laughs> that's not what happens at all no <laughs> it it totally just turns into these little spindly bits of water <laughs> it just gets sucked into the rocks that's what happens obviously and then it's so calm down here <laughs> it's so calm I like the little white and yellow dot things I have and th feel like it makes it look a little bit more magical and stuff. It probably also <laughs> helps out with why in the world the water doesn't obliterate everything because it's a magical place and obviously in a magical place we can have tons of water cascading upon us and it turned into a nice calm creek. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. Another thing is that I like the stonework here. It's cute and I like the little windows going on. I wish I had not put the same texture on the roofs. I feel like I was going more for a tile look to them, but it pretty much looks like the same texture and they just look it doesn't really work together. It makes it look very busy and just thrown onto it and makes it look stiff as well. 
because it's too much detail. Again, common thing. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I, I definitely wish I had done something more interesting with the sky as well. Like I said before, there's no background back here to suggest that this has mountains and stuff. I feel like when I was making this, I did have mountains back there, but I took it out because I was like, this is way too difficult. And the reason why it was so difficult was because I didn't look at a reference. Okay. What else? The lighting. That's another thing. It's, there's kind of the shadow going on here. And like in this area, it's supposed to be in shadow. But I didn't really, I didn't put in enough. I think I painted, what happened was I painted the whole thing so that it was complete. And then I was like, oh no, I don't have a light source. And it looked very flat as well. And I was also thinking, this is kind of like in a bowl. I feel like there should be some shadow somewhere because like the light isn't going to be directly on top of it probably. Or it could be, but there would still be more shadow suggesting a light source. So I kind of threw it in there and it kind of sort of worked down here. It needs way more up here to make it different because like, this shadow here is not that far from the light over here. And to have a better suggestion of light and shadow, it would need to be a little bit more contrast. But yeah, this is very straightforward. And like this here, this lighting here, oh. <laughs> uh, it's like, like, I totally missed this part here when I put in the shadow. Uh, I probably looked at it and I was like, oh no, it's fine. It's just, it's hitting this thing. <laughs> also, I like how none of the water mills have water coming off of them. Uh. Yeah. Didn't do that at all. <laughs> it was like such an important part of the whole painting and I just left it out. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. The greens are a little bit a little, they're like almost too saturated, but I would, I would say they're pretty all right. Like they're not, they're like almost there, but they're not there. I, like if I wanted to make it a little bit more realistic, I would probably tone down the saturation just a tiny bit more, or I just wouldn't put it in so many areas, or I would just add more lighting, more realistic lighting to highlight those spots more accurately, because right now the there isn't that much suggesting that the light should be making it that saturated. Um, and this rock stone thing right here, I don't know why I didn't make it darker. Because I made this one, oh, this one's in shadow, that's why. Uh, <laughs> okay, well I should have totally made this one much more darker. Like almost like a, as dark as this one here to bring it more forward, but didn't do that one. Okay, I think I'm going to end the critique part here. I feel like I mentioned all the things that are wrong about the painting and what needs to be fixed about it, and I am going to be going into my repainting of the piece. So I'm going to be taking the idea of the painting and just redoing it now that I have a bit more knowledge on digital painting and painting things from my own imagination. And I'm definitely going to be using references. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to be jumping into that and I will see you all afterwards.
second finished piece and I am really happy with how it turned out. I love the perspective I have on this one as compared to my original one. And I really like how much more of a prominent part the water mills are in this one as compared to the original one. In the original one they were really kind of hidden and they really didn't stand out at all. But in this one they definitely do stand out and that's really what I was going for in the original one and I feel like I actually captured it in this one. I would still probably work on a few different things to fine tune the painting if I wanted to make it an actual finished piece but for the purpose of this video I think it's pretty good and I'm really happy with it so I'm just going to leave it as it is but I hope you all enjoyed watching my video and found my critique on my original painting helpful. If you were learning how to paint or to do digital art, I hope it was helpful in some way. But thank you for watching my video. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time.